this. What's up? I'm back. Is that beatboxing? So, what's going on? There's some new stuff. Motorcycle. So I don't know if you guys remember, but a while back, a while, a while back, I was playing Counter Fairies for a little bit. I was even close to building the deck, but they didn't really have enough support back then. Um, there's, it wasn't that it was a bad deck, but it was more of a fun thing. I wasn't going to go invest a lot of time into it. So I ultimately decided not to do it. But as of recently, there has been some counter fairy cards, and I kind of like to talk about them because while there's already been cards to talk about, I'd like to discuss why I like them and why it's personally for me because I like counter fairies as it is, and this can just pretty much make the deck off because there's already some good counter traps for it. And counter fairies kind of, I won't say are anti meta, but like they're very interesting because a lot of the counter traps are very anti effect. Like you got Solemn Strike, and you got things like fucking Drowning Mirror Force. Um, Ultimate Providence, uh, Forced Back, if you want about Summers, you got Divine Wrath, you got all sorts of Solemn, you got your Solemn Warnings, all sorts of shit like that. So, the big thing that had a problem is if with some of the um, cards, like Sanctuary of the Sky, like that, you can get off some more effects when you use some different type of counter vary cards. That's why we need to talk about this, because the Continuous Spell card, Sanctuary of Parshath, this card's name is Treat of Sanctuary of the Sky, so right there off the bat, we have a Sanctuary in the Sky that's actually going to be better than Sanctuary in the Sky. So, Fairy Monsters gain 300 attack and defense. All face down spell and traps on the field cannot be destroyed or targeted by card effects. That's a big one. You're now protected by the spell card as it is, so you can't be cycloned or anything uh, for all your counter traps. And if something's going to target um, Sanctuary of Parshath, most likely you have a counter trap that will negate whatever's going to destroy your Sanctuary of Parshath. So you already, and they can't take out whatever your negation card is, your counter trap. So you kind of got some double whammies going on here. Um, and then once per turn, you can target three cards with different names in your graveyard that are counter traps and or fairy monsters and place them on top of your deck in any order. So you basically get some recycling and that's pretty much something else the deck lacked. So now you get to recycle your deck uh, and have consistency. You gain a little bit of a power beater. Uh, nothing too lord, but I mean, if you get an Arch Lord Christie on the field uh, when you play Counter Fairies, most people run that card when you play Counter Fairies. I mean, right off the bat, that's a 3100 beater that keeps fucking, you know, fucking up your opponent and negating shit, along with your other counter traps that you got going on in your counter plays. So, right off the bat, you're looking pretty good. Um, so, while that is a good card, I like it. It's powerful. I can dig it. I feel it. This trap that they're bringing with it is just adding more to it. Like I said, there's already some good counter traps to play, but then there's some that you might not play, uh, but you more or less just play them because you want some more counter traps. They're not necessarily the best. Like, I would play Forced Back, um, mostly just because it's a counter trap and I can get some effect off one of my fairy monsters. Uh, and the card wasn't bad. It would just negate the normal or a flip summon. And we still normal and flip summon a lot in this game. More or less normal summon, uh, but special summon is still a big thing. But negating a normal summon and putting it back to his hand, is it was an alright effect, but it wasn't great. So when you get cards like this to replace those, you know, those whatever counter traps that you're just playing for counter traps, it's good. So what is this card? It's called Reincarnating Parshath. Uh, when, and it's a counter trap. When a spell or trap card or monster effect is activated, you can reveal one counter trap in your hand, just card one card, and pay a thousand life points to negate the activation. If you do, return that card to the deck. Then you can special summon one Parshath monster from your deck or extra deck. Um, that is fucking nuts. Because uh, Avenging Nari Parshath, you can just special summon from your extra deck. And this card isn't like hardcore amazing, but it's a 2600 attack, 2100, 8 star fa light fairy monster. And I mean, if you have Sanctuary on the Sky, it's 2900 be beater. And if this effect is once per turn, you can change the battle position of one face of monster opponent controls. And if this card attacks defensive position, uh, defense position monster, inflict piercing damage. But. Once again, not a great card, but you can fill up your extra deck with three of these, and right off the bat, if you have three of these traps, you already have, like, a ba basically an out to some big beater. Uh, you don't have to worry about it. Like, it's not going to be, like, your all-inspiring boss monster that you can't wait to get this card. But the fact that you can negate a spell trap monster effect activation and pay a thousand life points, and yes, you do have to get rid of some extra things, the fact that you can just special summon this thing out of your deck... Um, is good. I mean, there's also some other things you could special summon out here, uh, like Air Knight Parshath and uh, Dark Knight Parshath and Neo. Uh, no, no, you can't summon that one. But like, th nothing amazing. But the uh, the extra deck one is the one that really catches my eye. 
And depending on what variant of fairies you're playing stuff, and maybe you, you might be running some effect veilers, and uh, you could probably just use him as some fodder. Then after you uh, bring him out, you could just throw him out in the field and bring out a level nine of some shit. I don't know. Not the point. Point is that card is killer. Um, I think it is. I don't know. The link to this is going to be down below. But let me know what you guys think. I think this is going to make counter fairies pretty OP as hell. Um, I'm not going to say they're going to, I'm not going to just go off the wall and say they're going to be just meta as fuck or some shit, but I, I really like the, uh, the, the, what they're going for here. And these two cards is like exactly what they needed. Cause they didn't really need any monsters. We kind of got some things for that. We already have some counter traps. Uh, and this kind of gives your deck consistency and it gives it defendability and it gives your ability to bring out uh, a bamf of a monster. So let me know down below what you guys think about it. I'm pretty pumped for it, but that's just me. Let me know down below. I'll see you. Later. Damn. Uh.